Hey guys, Emma again. This is part two of my gantry video, just to show you what I've done. I've made a piece of aluminium and screwed it on there with a couple of socket head screws inside and threaded it and tapped it to fit my ball head. And I finished this hinge up here. Which is got two wing two quarter inch bolts and wing nuts on it. This needs something in it to create a bit of friction. I'm still thinking about that. You've got to tighten it up pretty tight to get it to sit there, but there must be something we can do there. And so far, all I've got is this fairly useless gorilla pod mount here. Um, It's not really ideal. It works because we can get everything exactly where we want it in relation to the lathe, which is fantastic, and still reach everything. So that that's kind of good. But the the main problem is that when my memory card gets full, and I need to recharge the camera, or whatever, what happens is that you can't get it back in the same spot. This has got a little bit of wobble in it too. I'm wondering whether it needs a truss or something on it to just take that out. And it's got plenty of strength in it. It does definitely need a light on it still. So that's another job too. So that's what we've been doing. We can kind of get a lot of angles with it. See from there we can get a view of a very, very dirty lathe which is actually pretty good that's fairly close there we're only about six or eight inches from the work and it's not in the way at all so I'm pleased about that we can let this go and we can move it across here to the bench which is really good if we want to look at something on the bench that's fantastic that's not in the way either kind of like that and if we want to move it a bit further we can move across here across here and lift him up a bit and we can use it at the, at the drill press here so the vice is down here and if we move the drill press out of the way If we want to hold something in the vise, then we can do that, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, our new bench over here on top of the cabinets really is dark timber and it's very difficult to see things on and no one seems particularly happy if I shoot video over there. So I'm going to try and find a piece of stainless steel or a piece of tin or something to screw on top of it or even a bit of laminex board just to give it a bit of light is the next thing so that's going to happen too so anyway that's a bit of an overview that's a bit of an overview of my new camera tripod it seems to be just the thing I've sat down this morning and I've made a list of of projects that I'd like to put on YouTube and share it's quite a quite a long list so I'm going to have my work cut out in the next little while, but hopefully YouTube will give me enough incentive to to actually get some projects finished, which is great. So thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing and thanks for showing a bit of interest. I really appreciate that, guys. It's I know you come from all over the world, as far as Turkey and UK and America, and Canada, South Africa. And I really appreciate your interest, so let's see if we can keep some videos coming for a bit. Thanks guys.